Yeah, welcome to Supersport Park for this massive Momentum One Day Cup game. It's the Multiplier Titans, the home side. They take on the BKB Knights. It's a beautiful day in Pretoria. And what promises to be a mouth-watering contest. In effect, a quarter-final clash. They won the toss. Wandila McQuetu, the man in picture, standing in for Pite van Bullion. And I think on the back of them winning the toss, the odds have been slashed against them. I think they might have started off as outsiders, the Knights, and on winning the toss, I think their odds are firmed and it's brought the two sides closer together. Aidan Markram, he's been in a really rich vein of form of late coming back after injury. He'd be looking to get the Titans off to a really good start. To help me get off to a good start, a very good morning to Johnny Davids. Thank you, Shukshia. What an honour and a privilege to be uh, alongside you in the English commentary today. <laughs> Glorious day out here in Pretoria, Super Sport Park, as you mentioned, the all-important clash, Momentum One Day Cup between these two teams. Tony De Zorzi, excellent player, 300s, 550s to his name thus far. Still a long way to go in terms of his career. Well, not much uh, spectators to talk of at the moment. As the day progress, one would uh, imagine a whole lot of them coming in. It's after all the Sunday morning, so people are still going to church. And waking up. And waking up. But it's a glorious day, you're right. Mbalelo Mbudaza, the left armour from the VKB Knights. He'd look to get matters underway. He'll be bowling from the Henops River end. And allowed in Palika. He'll call play. Play. On cue. Right, right, right. Off the mark immediately is Aidan Markram, a delivery that just angles in onto the pads and he's not going to miss out too many there. Oh, that should go for four. Over pitched and uh, Markram gets most of the bat on it and such is the nature of this outfield that as a fielder you're always up against it. That's the first boundary of uh, the Titans' innings. A glorious shot by Aiden Markram. Uh, Shrix, you talk about the youthfulness of uh, the night stop order, and rightly so, but the loss of a pipe Van Bullion is a massive one, isn't it? Yeah, you lose your leader, you lose your, your, your glue of that batting lineup, and as good a young players as they are, you're always looking for that experience. Down, down. Oh, he's cut away and beats Yartsen to his left. He anticipated that it's going to his right and being as high up as he is, it was not as easy adjusting. But possibly it should have been a dot ball and second boundary of the Mark Rambat. That's a good shot that over pitched on this occasion. And uh, the first boundary from Tony De Zorzi. I don't think Badaz will be too unhappy with that. It's just the length that he's got slightly wrong. You now the outfield, as always, lightning fast. What, what a brilliant shot through the covers. Four runs. Yeah, it might be a boundary, but I, like I said, I don't think he'd be too unhappy. He's looking for the swing and he's gone past the bat of the outside edge countless occasions. Bartman seems to be having a problem with his knee, it looks mm. like it. Yeah. No, this is not going to happen now, surely not. Ooh. He's bound oh. one delivery Ooh. and he's going to walk off. Oh my word. The Knights would say that is not good news. I can't work out when he had done the injuries. No. They've warmed up for, feels like an hour, and then he's bowled one delivery. He hasn't had much to do in the field. And this will throw a spanner in the works for the Knights. Mm. Big blow, big blow, Shooks. Teodre, the physio, and we saw that after the first delivery, he'd just do a few 
left knee. So yeah, things have <laughs> changed very quickly. But McQuaid is going to have to think on his feet here. Yeah, it means that Patrick Kruger will come in and bowl the rest of this over. What bowling options do they have? They, well, they've no longer got Bartman by the looks of it. Budaza, Janssen, Van Berg. And to complete the over, Kruger. Snayman. They'll all have to bowl their quota now. <laughs> Slaps this one. Look to dominate even with the previous ball. This time around, got rewarded with a four. Yeah, he'll feel a lot better about himself, Tony Desorsi. The previous delivery cuts him in half, and this one, a little bit of width offered to the left hander. And he's as good as anyone taking care of a bad ball. Reaches for this. This will go for four as well. Overpitched by Kruger. Knights don't want to unravel now. It's a good over for the Titans. Eight offered, in fact. Six overs completed. 29 without loss. Just got everything wrong in that last delivery. Some width. The guy with the statue of the Zorge. You can't do that. Excellent over, as you mentioned, Shooks. Eight from it. First wicket. Can you believe at the end of Markram? Yeah, it's a big wicket. They've had to endure Bartman walking off two boundaries of the previous over to end that over, and then Mbalelo Budaza, who's been really good this morning, gets one right to Markram. One that goes across him, a little bit of extra bounce. Markram That's feels for it. Keegan Peterson completes the catch, and they know how big a wicket that is. Aidan Markram, he's gone for 12, Titans 29 for one. Here's another big player. He's coming for Grant Thompson, Tienis De Bruyne. It's been a mixed bag for him personally this season. The highs of having represented the Proteas and then getting left out and scores millions of runs at franchise level. He's had struggles with a back injury. Those are his numbers, averaging 51 in the Momentum One Day Cup in the best of 183. That, those numbers alone tell you how big a player he is. Shot, over pitched, and down the ground for four. A fourth boundary for De Zorzi. Yeah, Tony De Zorzi there. Little shimmy down the wicket to Patrick Kruger. Gave himself some room and a beautiful flow of the hands. Threw it off for four. What a fantastic shot there by Tony De Zorzi. Moves it on to 20. That's well timed. It was in the air, and there's no doubt the Knights would have entertained thoughts of a catch, but it's gone off to the boundary for four. 37 for one. Just a hint of width. Tony Zorz getting deep in the crease that time. Slightly airborne, but beautifully timed and races across this manicured. Just like Super Sports and Cheering Outfield for four. That Super Sport Park is a non smoking stand. Too short. He loves the short ball, does Tennis De Brain. And he's put that away comfortably. Yeah, we see the two sides of the same coin. The first ball on a good length, the bounce helping the bowler this time. The bounce helping De Brain slightly too short, and he could just rock back onto the back foot. Arms extended and uh, almost clears all the way to the short boundary today. Janssen will need to find that length that he found off the first delivery, otherwise the brain's going to take full toll on him. Good shot. Nicely played shot. A control impressive from De Brain, having to drive off a 
A decent length. Yeah, top shot. Yeah, De Bruyne's looked in good form in the dozen or so balls he's been out there. Even a couple of the ones that haven't got him runs, he's hit firmly. Nice full face of the bat up to mid-off. Left well early on in his innings, hit a nice pull for four, so ominous signs of Euro Knights uh, in the Knights camp today. Cut! Oh, down! Nearly had him. Should have had him. A potentially big moment in this game. Keegan Peterson, excellent fielder, quick. From Berg, slightly over pitch, De Bruyne airborne. On it, boys, wonder we go around here. Yeah? He's tipped that one past the post. Quicker ball for from Berg. Hold that one with the scramble team, and oh, that would have been a terrific catch had he clung on to that. Yeah. Shot. Two full. Just two full. And that brings up the 50. For brings up 50. For the Titans. Yeah, easy pickings, those. He'd be hitting those all day. Yeah, real genuine half volley there. The perfect reply to the bowler. Throwing one, hitting you on the pads. Nice drive for two and follow that with the classic cover drive. And since the brain gets going like this, very pretty on the eye. One of the best cover drives going around. Got him! That's him gone! Oh, what beautiful bowling! Great flight, it drifts. And it turns and past that outside edge. Thought he could get there because of the height of it when it's released, but he couldn't. Great dip on it, too. That's just classic leg spin bowling. Absolutely brilliant from Sean Rundberg. Been coming for a while now. He's had such good control with all his variations. Tempted the brain out. Didn't want to be subdued, and McQuetu does the rest behind the stumps. Beautiful delivery. Just done him in the flight. No chance of getting back there. Well bowled, Sean from Berg. Big fish of Tinas De Brain. Heads back to the dressing room for 17. Look good for that 17. Sub McQuay to bowl from Berg. 58 for two. Dean Elgar comes to the crease, captain of the Titans today. Done a really good job for the Titans in the middle order there. Another one averaging over 40. 21 56 hundreds always associated with opening the batting in the longer format of the game, but as those numbers suggest, really successful betting in this number four spot. Yes! He's got him! First ball! Sean von Berg comes back home to wreak havoc. He's bust his game wide open as Sean von Berg. Dean Elgar, absolute kingpin for the Titans. Gone first ball, caught and bowled. Again, nice loop, ball turns, looks to turn on the leg side, a little bit slower, leading edge, and he tumbles forward to take a smart catch. Oh yes, oh yes. The Knights, no doubt would have come into this, and many would have fancied the Titans, because they're playing at home. You expect that they'll do well on their home ground, they've got big players. A couple have gone one after the other. 58 for three. Rivaldo Munsami. Comes in on a hat trick. Nerves will be that little bit more because it's a hat trick. Yeah, Munsami. Got the gloves on for the Titans currently there. 24 matches in this form of the game. 100, 450s, very handy batter, busy batsman generally. Doesn't like to dot it up too much, but it's coming at a tricky time here for the Titans. Oh, excellent shot. Through the covers, four runs. Chest over pitching. Really good shot there by Munsami. Got the half volley. There's no man out on the boundary. The Knights, understandably, are attacking. I'm gonna slip and a gully. Nobody covering the boundaries on the offside, and they get 
One that goes straight to the budget, just over pitched. Oh, Elvin Dobley shout, that's the wicket. The first one for Janssen, the fourth one down for the Titans in all sorts of trouble here. Yeah. Got beaten by the slow ball. And that's well executed by Janssen. Pete Munsami by the lack of pace there. Well, what is happening here, Monde? Just missed the straight one. Again, it was a slower one, it looked like. Through the shot, and that was dead. Easy decision for the umpire. Titans lose their fourth wicket. 65 for four. Titans in all sorts of trouble here. Yeah. 65 for four with Farhan Berdin coming to the crease in what will be his last home game ever for the Titans. Experience, lots of them. Yeah, yeah. Well, purposefully played there in the air. Couple of bounces for four. What a way to open your account. It's a good start. It's a really good start. It's been an expensive over, but the key there is that wicket. Janssen just erring on the short one. The line there was the issue. Nothing wrong with trying to bowl the bouncer, but just the line was all the way wrong, and there's nobody out there once again. They are attacking. They've got a leg slip too in there. Single. Lay call to direct Ooh. hit. Well, well, well. The nice thing they've got their the man. This the will be interesting. Sometimes the celebration of the team tells you they think they've got him. And I think they might be right. Ooh, no, he's safe. <laughs> Actually, a long way in. Very safe. It's an easy decision for the umpire, that one. I just thought the way that the Knights were celebrating, and usually it's a tell-all sign. The fielders usually can tell, but uh, they might have got that one wrong. But good work by the captain. He's had a big job he had to do after losing one of his, one of his front line seamers. Has had to... Uh, Juggle his bowlers around, but so far he's done a really good job. Got the Titans down 70 for four. Oh, he's an edge, he's an edge. They're asking the question to umpires walking to each other. This is going to be a big moment in this game. Well, if the keeper did catch it, then it has to be out because we wouldn't be consulting. If there was no edge, it's for the carry. He's checking the, the third umpire if it did carry. Soft dismissal is out, says Mr. Pelliker. Just looking at the catch, as you said, Monday to the keeper. Was it a clean catch? Big, big moment in this game. Yeah, this is a big decision, I feel. We'll first have a look at the front foot. And then they'll see if it did carry to Makwetu. Once again, the decision for a potential court behind. Refer to television umpire Lauren Arthur-Math. Yeah, that's a pretty easy decision. Now for the big one. Did it carry? Looks like the off-cutter once again. Green. And oh, it carried. It carried. The soft signal was out. That's going to be the fifth wicket down for the Titans. Oh, look at that. At no stage, the ball hit the ground into the gloves. And there's some daylight as well between the ground and his gloves. Yeah, that should be straightforward decision by the umpire. No controversy there. That's straight into the gloves. Yeah. 
You should see some red letters coming out there, three of them. O-U-T, and that's it. Fifth wicket down, and it's the big one of Farhan Berdin. Could only manage nine runs. 88 for five. Titans are in all sorts of trouble. And the this all important match. Yeah, unfortunately, for the Titans, Bahadin in, in his last game here couldn't contribute in a big way. They lose their fifth wicket. 88 for five now, the Titans. Bahadin gone for nine. Zion Halim. It's uh, obviously in a lower format. 41 in uh, Momentum One Day Cup, his best. Short ball again, takes it on. Halim sails into the crowd. The first ball rocked him, could have gone anywhere, but Halim has now decided, well, I'm taking on the short ball. Maximum on this occasion. Yeah, takes it on, gets underneath it. Bedaz is bowling at a decent pace. And he pops him onto the bank. That brings up the 100 for the Titans. The 23rd over, 100 for five. He did well there, Bedaz. got the ball up nice and high. But to that slightly shorter boundary. Nikon! Brilliant bowling. Set him up. Feet were absolutely nowhere by Dayan Khalim. Got the length. Really much spot on, did Mbalelo Badaza and Wandila Makwetu. He completes another fine catch to leave the Titans reeling. Yeah, pushes that one up. Feet hanging in the crease, runs his fingers across it, and smart catch there from Makwetu behind the stumps. Been a brilliant over by Badaza, hitting the length there. Behind, forcing him slightly away, trying to almost run it down to third man, feet nowhere, and Badaza claims his third. Love it when a plan comes together. Use the short ball to good effect. Halim, he's gone. For 10, and the Titans 100 for six. Another left hand in Matthew Arnold at the crease. 31 years of age, so not a young player, although not many matches under his belt at this level, but certainly been a good performer for Easterns over the last couple of seasons, and he's got a couple of handy runs. In fact, bats in the top six in their first-class side. Down the leg side, this should run away. He's got some bat on it. Tony DeSorsi and Allard and Palika disagrees. All pad. Shot brought the man up from mid wicket, and Tony De Zorzi slaps this for four to take him to another half century. It's been a really good summer for Tony De Zorzi, and his teammates appreciate his efforts. From 65 balls with six boundaries, characters dangled. Tony De Zorzi, team mid wicket came up, played it against the spin, kept his head down. Great execution, and away for four. This will go for four. Set up and the source has been in for all of 28 overs and he rocks back and slaps this past the man at extra cover. Excellent placement there by the Zorzi. Out! What a catch! That's a top catch! Oh wow! That's Patrick Kruger, I think. Yep, it is. A long way to go to his right. It is the shorter boundary. He'd picked the gap, he'd have felt Arnold, but he's just plucked that out the air, Kruger. Another wicket for Von Berg. Yeah, and that's his third. That's another breakthrough. A partnership was starting. Just short. 
was there to be hit and as probably said the short boundary very good catch by Patrick Kruger to his right had to stretch that's another one the Titans now seven down for 131 the difficulty of the catch is that it's always gonna be dicey with regard to where the rope is and awkward as well in terms of height you're catching to your right and up above your head it's top work by kruger one three one for seven gone there's one there's another one it's the big fish desorzi played well but couldn't catch up with that down the leg side. Despair in the Titans change room, but a happiness for the night. On song, they've continued to chip away. In fact, once they've started, it's all happened pretty quickly. Comfortable catch that one. And it's wicket number two for Marco Janssen. Number eight for the Titans. The man who was getting all the runs, De Zorzi, has gone for 61. 132 for eight, and we'll take a drink too. Alfred Moutois, he's the next man in. In at number 10. It's all nights here at Supersport Park. Big shot, nobody out there. Wouldn't make a difference though because that's got a mile. Manak with a lusty blow for six. And he's done it to the danger man. The ball turning away from him. But there's no one out there. Risk taken, rewarded. That's out. Googly. Or perhaps a slider. Either way, it's out. Why do you say that with so much glee? No, no, no. Well, I did predict, by the way, that the Knights were going to win today, so my predictions. It's a bit early. Slider right in front. That's an easy decision for the umpire. Van Berg strikes again. Really been good. That's his fourth wicket as well. He's bowled really well here today. It's been a threat from ball one. Titans nine down for 138. Manek gone for six. Komede, young man. Hasn't played a lot of cricket at this level. Left arm cricket, best of three in list A cricket. Balem! Gogli didn't pick it. It's five for Sean von Berg. What a time to get his first Pfeiffer. And Sean von Berg ends with his best figures ever. Comes back to the Titans to absolutely blow them away. He's been brilliant today. Five for 33, career best. Ladies and gents, boys and girls. It's a brilliant day in the outfield. During the trench innings, we are for the Knights, you thought when they lost a frontline seamer early on, it might be a long day out in the field, but they've done really well. For the Titans out for 138. At the beginning of play, it looked like it might be a long day for the Knights, but that's the one where he cut his fifth wicket, Googly. Late reaction by Gumede, didn't read it. Good control as well. <laughs> didn't play it, actually. That's a really good effort by the whole bowling unit, but especially Van Berg. Came back to where he started his cricket and has knocked him out. And he'll lead them off. In the semis. Yep, he leads them off as and well. He'll lead them off. He'll take great delight as he leads them off. A, a top job this morning. Very familiar with those stairs. 
Yes, don't let them down. Sign an autograph or two as it goes off. Brilliant day. So the Knights need 139 runs in this virtual quarterfinal so that they can get into the semis. And they'll fancy their chances. They should get there, but you never know. We'll find out in half an hour or so. Hey, welcome back everybody to Super Sport Park here at Centurion. And that's what the Knights need to win this all important momentum one day cup clash. 139, 2.7 to the over from the allotted 50 overs. So uh, quite uh, fairly easy, one would say. But uh, the guy next to me, Stephen Cook, would know all about you. Can never say it's easy until both teams uh, went out there and had a bet. They had a bet. So um, all to play for here for the Titans. Uh, early weekers, that's what they need. But, um, yeah, to, to be honest, quite, quite disappointing from a Titans perspective. Yeah, 100% Johnny here. You see Andrew close opening the batting. Momentum won that cup record, excellent one. 20 matches, 100, 550's average of almost 50, uh, 46, should I say, and a best of 163 early on in the season. So, in formidable form here. Opening with him, Jacques Neyman. 25 years of age, strong boy, hits the ball hard. He's impressed throughout the summer, averaging 31, but it will be the strike rate. That's where uh, he's coming to at the season. He's got one of the highest strike rates this year in the Momentum One Day Cup, and he'll be looking to make short work of this target of 139 to win. Well, this is going to be the first boundary of the innings. One bounce for four. First ball that Snaven faced. Dispatch it. On the onside for four. Him dropping a fraction short and we spoke about Snayman, how aggressive he's been and his strike rate. Almost carrying all the way to the long boundary there. First ball he faces, not going to hang about. And that's probably the best way to go about this, to be fair. Oh! Was there a nick, was there an edge? No, said Mr. Pollocker. Leg by a signal there. Certainly a bit of life in this one and... Even though it's gone away from four. Good signs for Matthew Arnold. Lovely over the top action ball shaped back in quite a lot. Maybe nicked the thigh pad and uh, beat the falling moon summit. Excellent shot, four. Fine shot by the impressive Jacques Neyman. Again, not letting the bowler settle. Gets on strike A, he's moved to eight of just three deliveries. Maybe a hint of width there. Arnold's been shaping it back. Back to bowl that one down the leg side, wide early on in the over. Tries to get it to swing in. Just frees those hands. Lovely flow of the bat and ball races away from four. Oh, to the onside. Another four. Apish. Flick through mid wicket as Arnold strays in towards the pads. His name was really off to a fly here. He's done this throughout the season in the games that he's played for the Knights. Came in midway through the competition. Just a hint straight in towards leg stump. It was aerial for a while, but with no mid wicket in place. Four. Really simple in his execution there. Kalimid ball, three good deliveries. Search for something a little bit more. Try to get it up there a little bit fuller to swing. And Coates obliged. There was a nice healthy gap left in the covers. He didn't try to overhit it. He just timed the ball and ball moved away there for four. Oh, dealing in boundaries here. This one uh, racing off to the fence and it's another four. Long boundary doesn't save the Titans, conceding another boundary. Excellent balance by Khos. Brings to end the third over, 28 without loss. Wow. Wow, wow. That's all you can say. Yeah, sometimes the less said the better. Let the uh, pictures do the talking. Singing his praises in previous deliveries. 
Arnold searches, absolute sigh, sight of beauty. Oh, inside edge four. Streaky boundary to bring the fourth over to an end. Coast almost chopping that one onto his stumps and nothing seems to be going the way of the Titans here at the moment. Everything in favor of the Knights. That one uh, is also going for a boundary. Against the spin, Stamon goes, opens it up. Hits Manak through the offside, almost staying slightly leg side of the ball there, using that bottom hand to really scoop up and under it. Got it over the field and he moves on to 18 from just nine deliveries. Wow, what a shot. That's going to be maximum six runs. Great pick up there by Jacques Schneemann, not allowing Kometi to settle and the 50 gets brought up, just the start of the sixth over. Schneemann muscling that one to the leg side, maybe not the prettiest looking shot in the book but mightily effective, hits it over sort of straightish mid wicket, going with the angle. Well, what a shot. One bounce, four. Catch it! Oh, shots of catch it, and that's the first wicket down. Is the end of Ghost. Tight design business. Fahad Bahadur takes the catch. And the first wicket down. Manak gets his man. Trying to repeat the dose there from Ghost. Tries to get it over middle fielder. Hits it a little bit too flat, or maybe doesn't quite catch it. Saw a beautiful shot early in the over that one, not quite timed. Taken by Fine Verdeen and mid off there. Comfortable catch. 59 for one, Bombay Bongwa, Shikri Konga. Patrick Kruger is the new man in. Early frame also hits the ball a long way. And if there's any clue as to how the Knights are going to try and chase this down, it's going to err on the quicker rather than take their time side. Wow, that just sped away. Sneeman continuing on his merry way. Yeah. He's one gear with Jacques Neyman and uh, it's straight into fifth. Anything that remotely looks as if it can go to the boundary finds its way there. And... He didn't quite strike it as well as he can, but it'll get to the fence. It's more muscled than timed that time. That's gone straight up in the air. Should be taken, and is. It's a top catch. Manak, I think it is, who runs in from the boundary. Top catch that. Yes, yeah, some will argue that he's been irresponsible, but as we're speaking, that's the way he plays. He fancied it. Pulled the length back, did Gomede, and get to see of a very fine catch. He's on his way. It's Arnold, actually, who's run in from the fence. It's good work. Yeah, and this is what I was talking about. He's trying to hit that so hard. Loses shape. And Arnold, lots of ground to cover. Covers it. And is able to get down to take a catch just inches off the ground. Snowman gone for 35. 69 for two. Here's Keegan Peterson. You'd like those numbers to be better. Better player than that. Missed his target that time with that dart, and it'll go for four. Four wides. God! And he throws it up, and behind him drops it. He lulled Peterson into this, the dart, the dart, and then the little looper. What beautiful bowling. 
Yeah, that is high class. We said uh, what an intelligent cricketer he is, and he's really set that up. He invited the drive. He pegged him back, pegged him back. And Farhan Bialyan, well, if he watched that, he'd grimace because if there's anybody you want the ball to go to, if it's in there, it's Farhan Bialyan. Mine, probably elsewhere. Four runs. Just enough width. And Kruger can throw the hands at it. Shot. Got it on the fall. And he's got it away for four. Yeah. Where's he go? Four runs. Nice start to the over. Peterson. Still putting Manak under pressure. Kruger in the end, that's the wicket. First ball of Arnold in his third over. And he got rid of Kruger for 12. Yeah, very soft dismissal. Kruger has been looking to be aggressive the whole time he's been here. His timing hasn't been quite there. And this time he hits it straight to Bahadine, who put one down earlier. And this time, very comfortable catch. He gets rid of Kruger, who's gone. 102 for three. Kruger gone for 12. Now the young and exciting Reinhard van Tonder is the next man in, replacing Pike van Bouillon today. Yeah, young man represented South Africa at the under 19 level, captain as well. Average of just 20, you'd expect that to improve with his talent. Just a 60, just a 150. Oh, in the air, that's going to be four. Doesn't matter how they come. Ball is the name of Peterson. That's unlucky. That's unlucky for Arnold. Goes with the short ball. It looks like Peterson was caught up in two minds there. It looked like he wanted to play, then pulling out last minute. Gets the top edge and it goes down to the boundary. Out. The lack of intent and then another soft dismissal. Khalim's first one for the day. They've applied pressure, they've dried up the runs, and Keegan Peterson surrenders quite meekly to a length delivery as a full go, and while Markram's not dropping there. Yeah, a bit of hint off it up here. Keegan Peterson usually strong through that area, lying back and straight chest high to it, and Markram there. Peterson goes for 20 or 41 deliveries, 111 for four. New batsman, Grant McQuenna, 32 years of age. He'll be looking to close us out for the night. And there it goes. They've been put on the clock and they respond brilliantly. Long half volley and Re Reynard Fantonda, he's too good a player to miss out. Gone, too close to cut. Yes, Palika raises the finger and another one goes down. Kalim breaks, makes the breakthrough yet again. Another player trying to play square of the wicket. A little bit of extra bounce here from Kalim. Little cutter comes back at him, top edge and feather through to the keeper. Can't help but think he should have kept maybe more of a vertical bat on one of those. But having said that, we have been saying he should be on the lookout for runs on something loose and having just hit the boundary, finds his way on, the, on his way back to the pavilion. Out for seven from 25 deliveries, the Knights 116 for five. Captain himself, Wandili Makwetu. Another former South African under-19 captain. And he'd be wanting to finish this and finish it off properly. 
but someone misses out. This is eased through the covers that should reach the boundary. They get into the teens. Ten required. McQuetta just leans on this one and eases it for four. Out. Length ball. Extra bounce. McQuetta pushes hard. The man at short cover takes it gleefully. Six down. Is it another twist in the tail? Yeah. Not quite as full as the previous ball. A little bit of bounce and short cover in position for just that run reason. Captain Elga makes no mistake. Mukwetu, a bit frustrated. Would like to have seen it home for his side. Goes for five of eight deliveries. 129 for six. Sean Van Berg, how's he going to play this? His frame suggests that he's not going to hang around. He's a smart cricketer, really smart cricketer. Tough competitor is Sean Van Berg. Oh, that's in there. That should be taken. Van Berg has given it away. He fancied the man. He fancied to finish the game off. Lack of pace, leading edge. And Imran Manak takes the catch. Seven down. Yeah, Gamedi around the wicket. Pace off has been the key here from Berg going across the line. Leading it straight up and Tormanak gets his hands above his head, takes a comfortable catch. Sean von Berg was so brilliant with the ball earlier. Departs for two. 137 for seven in the 30th over. Marco Janssen's the new batsman, 19 years of age. Tall batsman. Very handy record there. Albeit with a lot of not outs, but uh, best of 43. Doesn't need that many to that. Smacked away. The winning runs. McQuinn puts the bat under his arm. The Knights are a happy camp. They're in the semi-final. They've scraped in. It was a nervous time for them, but richly deserved the victory. They bowled brilliantly, backed up by some really good fielding. And 138, while well, it was never really going to be challenging enough for them. Grant McQuenna in the end saw them home. And full marks to the VKB Knights. They're in the semi final of the Momentum One Day Cup. It's a sweet victory for McQuetu and his charges. Farhan Bihardin just leading off the Titan side, saying goodbye to the faithful year. He's been a wonderful servant over the last 15 years. And he deserves every plaudit and every accolade that comes his way. Script didn't go according, well, things didn't go according to the script today. But he can really walk out holding his head very high. And as the scoreboard suggests, they thank Fudgy for entertaining us at Supersport Park. The nice betting card. Close to the same one. Got off to a brilliant start there. Same one, particularly destructive, 35 of just 19 balls, and after they departed, Knights lost their way just a little bit. Stuttered, never really got on top of things until Grant McQuenna finished it off at the end. Eventually getting home seven wickets down. It took them just over 30 overs. Yeah, partnerships, just the one at the top. 59 from 45 deliveries, and from that position, it was really theirs to lose. Kruger and Peterson also played his hand, but after that, there wasn't much. Ron McQuenna finally hitting the winning runs with a pull shot of Matthew Arnold to see them home. The last two not required. Bowlers, only four required. They needed someone to do something special. They were workmanlike without being special. Wickets apiece for Halim, Arnold, Gumeri and Manak. 138, well, that was always going to be a bridge too far for them to defend. So the match summary, Wandile Makwetu won the toss at around one o'clock today, had very little hesitation in bowling first. Tony De Zorsi opening the batting for the Titans, he played particularly well, but Sean van Berg, five for 33, Budaza, three for 26, they were the chief wicket takers for the VKB Knights and bundled the Titans out for 138.
And as Stephen Cook just summarized it, Jacques Sneijman and Andy Schoots gave him a good start, and then there was a little bit of a wobble in the middle. But uh, Grant McQuenna in the end saw them safely home. 141 for seven. The Knights win by three wickets, and they win the semi-final.